All right, so I'm here today with a, gosh, what is this? It's a Ford Fusion. I'm trying to think of what year. It's probably like an 08 or something like that. But I'm going to be replacing the uh, drive belt, serpentine belt, whatever you want to call it, right here. And also the tensioner that holds tension on this to keep it in place. But before I do all that, I'm going to go ahead and jack the car up and take this wheel off because that's what needs to be done to even get to the belt properly. So, uh, as you can see, I have the handbrake pulled. I'm going to jack the car up, take the wheels off. Actually, I'm going to break these lug nuts loose while it's on the ground, then lift it up and uh, take the wheels off. Now, as you can see, I have the car up, the wheels off, got my drive belt out, and got the new tensioner right here. So I can look at this and see pretty much that uh, it matches this one. Next, I'm just going to remove this bolt and that bolt up there. And uh, there are 10 millimeters and that's gonna be able to let us take the tensioner off here. Now that I have it removed, I'm gonna put the new one on with the same bolts that it came off with. Um, just screw it back in there, set it on there put the screws kind of in the holes lightly and uh, then tighten them down and while I'm down here I'm just gonna go ahead and show you how to tension it um, you get a 15 millimeter uh, socket and you put that on here and you just turn it like that and it pivots up you slide the belt underneath it and drop it down and it tensions it now I'm going to start putting the belt on. I'll put a picture up of uh, what the belt routing should be. And then uh, I'll go ahead and put this belt on. All right, now I have the new belt out and that's all tightened and ready to be tensioned. Now um, I'm going to say there's a few spots on here where the engine is so tight against the body, like the uh, AC compressor right there. And back here kind of on the alternator, where it's so tight against the body that you have to turn the belt sideways to, uh, like you just, you have to kind of twist it just to make sure it gets in between the body and the pulley. Uh, you'll have to do that while still keeping it on these pulleys. I'm going to uh, try to show you what the routing should look like without everything set up or without everything tensioned and then uh, yeah try to get this set up I'll let you guys know what I have trouble with as I do it but we'll see now I think the last time I did this I had my tensioner tool all the way down there on the tensioner and I detensioned it and put the belt on the uh, either the water pump pulley or the uh, power steering pump pulley right here um, but I'm going to try my best, and if you can see, I have the belt all where it should be. Um, so I'm going to try to put it on the tensioner just right here. And hopefully that works. If not, I'll probably have to go to the top and slide it on the water pump pulley or something like that. Uh, usually the water pump pulley and the idler pulley are the easiest ways to do it because they don't have this ridge to keep the belt on since it only got slides on the back side of the belt. So that's how I'm going to try it first right here. If not, then I'm going to try to tension it from the top and uh, slide it on the water pump pulley. And now as you can see from right here that just went on just fine. No problems there. Uh, it's on right here. It's a little bit sideways on the pump pulley but it's nothing that uh won't work out whenever it starts going now you can kind of see the power not the power stream but the ac compressor pump or com the ac compressor pulley is a uh, glistening a bit and that's because this power steering leak that's right here so when this starts up it may squeal a bit but uh, once that burns off there it should be fine so i'm going to put the wheel back on this um, with the lug nuts on it, get this out of the way, and uh, set it back on the ground, then tighten my lug nuts and start it up. 
so as you can see it's running there's not even a squeal like i thought there'd be uh there's a little bit of i don't know if that's knock or lifter noise but there's definitely some engine clatter you know it actually could be power steering times not sure but there's definitely noise in there um but um i like to thank you guys for watching i hope this guy's helped you out leave a like if it did that'd be awesome uh, if not, leave a comment. I'll try my best to help you out. Uh, just uh, let me know you guys think of this video. Thanks for watching.